chiller here. We're just going to do basic inspections today. Uh, coils and stuff got clean yesterday. We're going to come in here and just inspect all of our connection points. Um, we're looking for any insulation that might be pinched, uh, any loose overheated wires, anything discolored. Uh, everything looks pretty good here. We'll uh, cycle the chiller off here shortly and just tug on all of our wires and go through and tighten all of our connections. Uh, we've got the blower, we'll blow everything out. This is a pretty clean control panel, but uh, these are our VFDs here for the condenser fan motors. We'll blow those out as well. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Everything looks pretty good. Get this guy shut down. You don't want to kill power on these things. Anything with VFDs and stuff like that. We want to come into the control and we can hit stop. And it'll say immediate stop. That's emergency only. I'm going to let it stop on its own. And then uh, we'll go through here and blow all this out, tighten all our connections. Uh, you want to give the VFDs time to discharge all the capacitors and everything inside. So give them about 10-15 minutes before you start blowing or tightening any connections on those.
basic stuff to look for. We got our control panel blown out. Uh, they're real dirty. You can come in here and take a rag and just wipe them down, make them look nice. Um, everything looks good. We got all our connections tightened up. I think I missed these two guys, so I'll go back and hit those. Um, VFDs are blown out. We ain't got no hot spots or anything odd going on. This chiller was running. There was no issues with it. Uh, last issues I had were the uh, suction temp sensors, as typical with these chillers. Uh, suction temp sensors go bad. You have to uh, replace them periodically. Um, we got some spare parts up here. We're going to tidy all this up, uh, get wire ties on everything, make everything look nice. So just a quick video of what to look for inside your control panel. This goes for basically anything. It doesn't have to be a chiller. It can be an air conditioner or whatever. You're just going looking for overheated wires. Uh, pinched insulation on wires, anything that looks overheated or discolored, anything out of the ordinary. And now that we had it off for a few minutes, this is a good time to come in and check. Uh, we're running, let's see. Set points 41, 51 in, 42 out, so all that looks normal. We can come in here and reports. Evaporator, circuit one, gives me my refrigerant pressure, saturated temperature, approach temp, and the EXV status. Same way with circuit two. Both looking about the same, that's good. Do condenser the same way. temperatures so uh, keep track of your temperature probes constant failure on these um, you have to keep up with them uh, just verify with a K type sensor on the line verify that that temperature matches up with what you're showing here on the control and you ought to be good to go so just a quick video let me know what y'all think leave me a comment see you guys on the next one